All right guys, welcome back to Daring Motors. Uh, today we are going over alignment basics and also how to do a front end alignment using just this tape measure right here. Uh, this is to check it and if we're going to adjust it, we're gonna use these two wrenches right here and that's all we're gonna need uh, to adjust our tail on our car. All right, now before we get into the alignment, uh, I will be having a special announcement coming out next week um, in next week's video. So stay tuned for next week's video because I'll have a very special announcement coming. But before we get to the alignment down below the car, let's get inside and get the steering wheel straight. All right, so before we do our alignment, uh, we need to make sure that our steering wheel is straight. So we'll get this straightened out. And so that way, uh, while we're adjusting everything, when we finish up, the steering wheel will be going straight. And that way we won't be have to keep the steering wheel like this just to go straight on the road. Now, if you want to make sure your steering wheel is straight the whole time you're adjusting, what you can do is you can take your seat belt, pull it as far out as, it, far out as you can get it, like this and then you're gonna go feed it through the bottom here once it feeds it through the bottom you're gonna pull it through pull it around you're gonna pull it around and then you're just gonna click it right here in your seat belt just like that and that way while you're making adjustments your steering wheel will stay still just like that all right now before we get into the alignment uh, we're just gonna take a look at the tires the way they are and basically there are three things to your alignment. There's something called caster, which tells you how much your wheel, if it goes, if you draw a line straight up and down, it tells you how much your wheel goes like this or like this. And then the second thing that you'd adjust is camber. And the way camber is, is your tires will be in like this, which would be negative camber, or out like this, which would be positive camber. Um, and then the last thing we're gonna talk about is toe and toe is what we're gonna be doing today with just this tape measure and wrenches. So if you look in, uh, the best way to describe toe is to look at your feet. So if you have your feet here, this would be toe in if you're looking from the back of your car, and this would be toe out if you're looking from the back of your car. So right now, uh, our tires look pretty straight, but we gotta take some measurements first. But normally you want your car to be a little bit toe in, and I'll go over that in a little bit. All right, so the way I'm gonna check the alignment with only using this tape measure here, is like I'm going to pick a spot here on the tire. So I can pick this tread pattern right here, this tread pattern here, or this one here, but it just has to be the exact same on the other tire on the other side of the car. So I'm going to pick this one here in the middle. I'm just gonna lock my tape measure on it just like that. All right, so I'm just gonna get this tape measure on the tire here. I'm gonna go all the way across the other side. Okay, so now we're on the other side of the car. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hold this tape measure tight. We're gonna come in right here. I'm gonna zoom in as best I can for you. We're gonna be right here, and we're looking at the same exact tread that we chose on the other side. All right, so we look really closely right here. We can see the tire tread is about 63 inches, and what does it looks like? Yeah, 62 and 1 8. 63 inches, 63 and 1 8 inch we have on the front end here. And also something you want to make sure you do is when you're measuring this, try and keep your tape measure level so you're at the same exact spot on the tire. All right, so now I'm at the back of the tire and I'm going to want to do the same exact thing. So I'm going to want to pick a spot right here on the tire and go across to the other side. This time I'm going to kind of feed this across to the other side just to make it a little easier on myself. All right, so I have the tape measure pulled across here and if you look really closely we can see Right, we're about 62 and three-fourths, maybe one above that. Um, so right now we currently have some toe out, uh, which, which we don't want. So we're going to adjust that so that way uh, we can have some toe in on this car. All right, so when we're doing our alignment, we're going to want to come underneath the car. So we'll come down so under the car, and we're going to come over and look over where the wheel is. So if you look in here, we have a bunch of suspension stuff, but the thing you're going to want to look for is this right here, which is your tie rod end. So it looks kind of like this with most cars and trucks, and you're going to look for this nut right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to loosen up this nut. It's going to jam nut so that this can't move. And once we loosen that up, we can adjust our alignment on our toe. All right, so what I'm going to do so I'm going to get my two wrenches here. One's going to go on this nut right here, which I'll get set up first. 
so that is on there. Then I'm going to get my other wrench. I'm going to hold the tie rod still. It's going to sit right here on the tie rod where the little squares are. And now I'm just going to use all the force I can. Oh there. All right, so I got this loose. So I got this right here, you got it loose. All right, so you can see this nut right here is loose. So you're gonna loosen that up a little bit by hand. Let's get it separated from this tie rod. Just like that. We're gonna grip onto this part right here. And we're gonna turn this so it goes into the tie rod. The reason we're gonna go in is because we had toe out. So what, when, we, when we screw this in, it's gonna make this shorter and pull the front of the tire in towards the car. So I may have lied about just using those two inches because we will need this as well uh, to get onto this and spin it. So we're going to go in to the, to the tie rod just like this. And I'm just going to rotate it about a full turn. So there's half. And there's one full turn just like that. And now. I'm not going to tighten this up all the way, but I'm going to get this nut kind of back close to the tie rod end, just like this, and kind of keep it there. And then I'm going to do the same exact thing on the other side of the car. All right, now that we got both sides uh, just a little bit, we're going to go back and check our alignment again just to see the kind of adjustments we made. But before we do that, I'm just going to turn the car on and turn the wheels back and forth a couple times just to and move forward and backwards a couple times just to kind of let everything settle in so the adjustments will show up. All right, now I'm going to do the same thing, measure from the same exact spots that I did before. All right, so on the front, I got um, 62 and right between 3 fourths and 7 eighths. It's 13 sixteenths. There we go. Quick math right there. So I got 62 and 13 sixteenths on the front. So I'm going to do the back side, and then we'll compare. All right, so now we are did the back, and we're looking right here, and it's almost exactly 63. Uh, so actually, I'd say it is exactly 63 inches. So we have a difference of 3 sixteenths of an inch. So now we're going to go and compare what that means to our degrees. All right, so I have this chart right here that shows uh, what the difference between inches and degrees are. So right here, I had 3 sixteenths of an inch on my toe. So I had 0.46 degrees uh, of toe. But I'm supposed to have 0.1 degrees of toe, which is way in here. So I'm going to have to go back under, uh, dial in a little bit more, and push it out so I can get in between that range. So I'll get to that now. All right, so if you look right here, this is nice and tight right there. Uh, it's sitting at about 30, 63 and 3 sixteenths of an inch right there. So you can see it's right here on this little dot right there is where we're sitting. So now let's go check uh, the back of the tire and see what we have. All right, so now we're on this side. So if we're looking right here, we're sitting at 63 and 1 eighth right there. Uh, which is perfect. So we have 1 16th of a difference from back to rear. So I have 1 16th of a toe in, or maybe a little bit more, but because I have that, um, we have 0.1 degrees of toe. All right, so right here we're at 1 16th of toe, so we're maybe a little bit less. So we're right below this 0.16 degrees of uh, toe. So that way we are in our alignment specs, because uh, this is plus or minus uh, 0 0.06, so we made it just in there. All right. All right, now the last thing we're gonna wanna do uh, before we put anything down is we're gonna wanna tighten these lock nuts back up, because if we don't tighten these down, if we don't tighten these down, it could be a long day when our tie rod falls off when we can't steer. So we're gonna get the wrench on there, get this wrench on there. We're just gonna tighten them the best we can by hand. Just like that, tight as I can go. And now I'm on the other side. I'm just gonna tighten this up. 
just like that. All right. So that's not loose. That's not loose at all. It's nice and tight. Now we are all done with doing our front end toe alignment. All right, guys. And that car is right there, all lined up and perfect, ready to drive. And all we did it with was these few tools and just a tape measure. Uh, no special alignment tools were needed for the doing this. So if you guys have any questions on this or uh, comments on how I did this alignment, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Um, but if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And make sure to stay tuned for next week because we've got a big announcement coming. Alright, thanks guys.